between zero and two million. Put some numbers on there for yourself, it yeah. might help you. What does this graph represent? People who make between? Two to four. Two to four million, those are my people who make between? Uh -huh, and so forth, right, okay? So a lot of people make a little bit of money between zero and two million dollars, obviously not zero. Okay, so we're gonna learn everything we need pretty much for 7.3 from this distribution, which is super skewed. So grab your calculators, because the first thing we need to do is collect some data. And I wanna show you a couple of different tools in your calculator that's gonna help you make this just a little bit easier. Sample, sample, samples. Um, and there's only two, four, six, eight of us, so you know, two people are gone, so we're now even gonna have less samples. But we're gonna take, um, everyone's gonna take, um, did I write four? I really wanted you to take five. Five, so add five to the first column too. Um, we're each gonna take five samples. And the first time we take a sample, the sample sizes are going to be five. So we're gonna pick five players. Everyone's gonna pick their own five players. And then the second time around, we're gonna pick um, how many players? 25. 25 players, okay. So like, ooh, that, that's gonna take a little while, right? Especially that I'm gonna need you guys to each do this five times. However, there's some tools on the calculator that'll help you do this a little bit more efficiently. I don't know that it's like super efficient to do it for five, because five, you know, you can do relatively quickly. But, um, but when you get to 25, you're like, oh yeah, you're definitely gonna wanna do this. So here we go. We want um, samples of five. So we have numbers that correspond to these players and what should I put as my numbers? Like what are random digits that I'm picking? sort A is I want you to sort that L1. So L1. Done. 
and then go back to uh, your list. So again, this is my, it, it seems like a little bit of work for, um, for doing a sample of five, but it's gonna be very helpful when you're doing a sample of 25, 25 because what happened on our list now? Number. Okay, Number. It, it ordered them, right? So now when I'm flipping through my list, it's gonna be a lot easier than flipping through all those pages, right? So now my five samples, my five uh, baseball players are in order. So now go ahead, I would find baseball player number 25. And in L2, baseball number 25, I'm going to, um, that's my diamond back, so I'm going to enter 335. Okay, why do I like putting this in on my calculator? It's gonna find the mean for us, right? So again, with five, we're just setting some, we're just setting some boundaries here with what's gonna be easier. But now let's go to um, set, calculate. Okay, one variable statistics. And which list should I pull from? L2, right? Because L1 is just my identification numbers. L2 are my actual salaries. So change this to L2. Frequency list, remember we leave that blank unless we're working with probability. Calculate, and you've got yourself an X bar. Okay, so your first X bar will go on your little piece of paper, 1952 in my case, and you've got your own X bar. Okay, should I walk you through one more? Did we get everything? We're good? Yeah. Okay. So again, it's gonna get a little bit tedious with 25 of them, but you'll just pick. So what's gonna be the only difference other than a lot of more work? When you're picking 25 ID numbers. When you're picking 25 ID numbers, right? So random integer no repeat is not going to be one comma 866 comma five. It's going to be one 866 comma 25. Did you guys catch all that with putting it in the list, storing it? Mm -hmm. 